Good morning. I am doing a body by design update. I have been doing body by design for about three weeks and it has taken me three weeks to just change my habits of being conscientious of the new program, of actually paying attention to the new program and documenting. This is gonna be a little longer video today because I've got a lot to say and I am down in my dining room, I've had breakfast that was not on the menu. It was two eggs, cottage cheese and pineapple. I'm having a coffee and I've got my first bottle of water. I have four 30 ounce bottles of water. That's another habit that has been slowly building over the last three weeks. It's very important. Um, drinking water helps curb your hunger. So make sure you're getting all of your water or as much as possible in your daily allowance. I love this little curl. It's kind of doing its own thing today. So I am using the diabetic journal that I created uh, back earlier this year. Track your diabetes. It's available on Amazon if you want a hard copy mailed to you quickly. I have four copies here. You can order through my Etsy store and I will have links in the description of this video. So in the diabetes journal, this was September 23rd, it's the first day that I started this process. You see it has, I'm gonna revamp this. I don't use all of those, I thought I would. And some of them are larger than they need to be. And then on the right, there's a section for journaling, and keeping track of what you're doing on a daily basis. So on September 23rd, my fasting blood sugar was 139, no, it's higher than that. That's good. My blood pressure was 140 over 81 and pulse was 80. This is fasting when I first get up before I've had any medication. I might have some water and before I've had any food. Now, fast forward, there was a day, let's see, there was a day that my blood sugars were 193. And that might've been the day before the 23rd. They were 154. On the 24th, there it is, 187. I have two pages for September 23rd. Oh, this is the 25th I just showed you, okay. So September 23rd, my fasting blood sugars were 187 and I weighed 230 pounds, 0.82. Give you a minute to read that. I had a fight with one of my guests. I'm also an Airbnb host, and she left shortly after this. Fast forward to October 19th, which is about a month, about four weeks into it. I'm about to download my week three documents and really dig into the menus and be more consistent with the exercise. So this morning I weighed myself, it was 223.8 pounds. That is a seven pound loss in a month. That's a good rate. And I am really excited about that. I have been 232 to 234 for about 20 years. Um, I have an incredible metabolism. I am very active, um, even though I work a desk job. Uh, I have had horses, I love to walk. When I was in California in June and July, I walked for 60 miles on the beaches in California. It was amazing. But what I learned from that experience is I need something interesting to do. I can't just walk because I need to walk. I have had success with the treadmill at my home. And when the treadmill broke, I never replaced it. And then I just continued being steady. So today, my blood pressures, and for the, for the last week, my fasting blood sugars on October 12th was 127. On October 13th was 113. October 15th was 105. I didn't test on the 16th or the 17th. This morning it was 106. So that is very steady and I have lost 90. Um, I don't know if they're points or degrees, but it's gone from 193 to 106 in a month. And that is primarily just 
being conscientious of what I'm eating, paying attention to the menus, uh, avoiding processed foods. I don't eat a lot of fruit, although it's not banned. I just, I'm not, never been a person to eat a lot of fruit. I love vegetables. Um, I cook at home, so I don't, I haven't traditionally done a lot of fast food for a long time. Um, and that is primarily just been diet, changes to my diet. I take my, my medication regularly, morning and night. I am currently on 500 milligrams of uh, metformin, as well as another diabetic medicine. They added me because my blood sugars back in May, April, May, were, uh, my A1C had reached 8.1. And as you diabetics know, that is reaching dangerous levels. Part of the reason that I was diagnosed with diabetes was the two strokes I had in 2015. And they were a result of nine very serious health problems, including diabetes two, which I had not, did not know at the time that I had, severe sleep apnea. Looks like I'm looking at the paper now. Um, severe sleep apnea, I was not breathing 40 times in an hour every hour while I slept and my oxygen levels were dropping down to 40%. So I have been on a sleep apnea machine for almost 10 years, eight years. That has created another dependence um, on the machine, which I really don't care for. And one of my goals is to possibly get off of the sleep apnea machine by getting to a reasonable weight. My goal is 135 to 140. I am not hung up on weight loss. That's not my goal. My goal is a healthy heart reduce my A1C status and be able to travel and walk my dogs and be able to just enjoy life. I did retire September, no, I'm sorry, August 7th of 2020 and have had a couple of years to get me to this point. That has included a lot of reflection and um, Evaluating where I am, where I've come from, and how that's going to affect me the rest of my life. At the time, my father had just passed away. I was his guardian for the last four years of his life. And I am working on a book about that experience. He was abusive. And um, I went from him being my abuser to me being his guardian in the last four years of his life. And I think I did injustice. But my left eye leaks all the time. It's not anything. So my goal for the next month is to walk at least 5,000 steps a day. That's about two miles. I do 2,500 steps per mile. So I'm gonna write that down. That is from October 23rd, I'm sorry, October 18th until November 18th. Now I'm in Iowa and the temperatures are dropping and it's gonna be getting wet and snowy and icy out here lately or soon. So this may prove challenging sometimes, um, but I'm making that commitment here today. Now the program I'm using, as you probably know, is Body by Design. This was just introduced by Ula about a month ago. It's a seven week body positive weight management program. It includes, uh, the first unit is five videos and introduces the course. I'm reading backwards. So we're looking at a smart plan. You're gonna set some goals for yourself. I'm just showing you the blank pages here. You do a sleep journal. Uh, sleep is emphasized at least eight hours a night. My ideal sleep is seven and a half to eight hours a night. A wake up goal, a bedtime goal, Hydration tracker, which I track in my diabetic journal. And it's easy for me, it's hard for me to go back and write down everything at the end of the day because it's not my habit yet. But it's easy for me to go to the diabetic journal and I know that, here it is. Each one of those is eight ounces of water. I know my ideal water intake a day is 100 115 ounces. So I just circle 120 sometimes. 
and you don't have to be consistent. The thing, so let me rephrase that. The best thing to do is to be consistent. But if you have tried and tried and tried and failed and quit, and like most people do, your biggest, biggest thing is be conscientious of where you want to be, where you want to go. What are you doing today? Be conscientious every time you start preparing a meal or you feel that you're hungry. It honestly works. If you think you're hungry, and I found myself in the very beginning going to the refrigerator and looking in the refrigerator three or four times, and there was nothing in there that I wanted. In that case, what your body needs is water. Drink some water. If you have to put a little lemon in it, they've got little Kool-Aid sticks that are like 10 for a buck at the dollar store. And they just give you, it's a little flavor packet. Um, you can get them sugar-free, so there's no sugar, uh, no calories. I don't even care about that. If there's 10 calories in a sugar packet, but that means I drink 30 ounces of water or 45 ounces of water, do it. Whatever it takes for you to feel confident and want to get that water taken. So that's conscientious. If I drink four to five bottles, 33 ounces at a time, that is my water for the day. So in the morning, I come down, I use a Brita filter because we've got gross water. And I am an anti-bottled water person. I just the plastic, the waste, and the, the um, waste of our resources is another soapbox that we'll avoid for today. So I do use tap water, but I put it through a Brita filter. I fill up my morning, my bottles in the morning. And then I know how much I have left to eat that day or drink that day. My weight this morning, I already told you that. All right, so then there is an exercise log. And you won't actually start exercise until week two. And then you start functional exercise. Functional exercise is taking a walk, doing a little yoga, Pilates. Um, something that you might do anyway. You just want to be conscious of it and get it in on a regular basis. And then every week you get a meal plan. And this is the meal plan for week one because I've printed week two and three and they're still at the printer. I had a problem with my card, couldn't get there. So I haven't picked them up yet. But I can repeat week one. And then you also get a shopping list. So I've taken the shopping list and I have crossed out what I have at home already, which is a lot of it. And then I you know, circled some things and I put either an F or a S next to it. So I work at a grocery store called Fairway and everything that I need to get at Fairway, I have an F at and next everything that is at Sam's Club, which is a big grocery or Walmart, you know, then I can get at Sam's Club. And then you have a recipe key guide and you start your menu. So the, the Maui morning oats is the the breakfast for the first week. There are a couple of videos about me uh, not making them correctly and making cake instead of oatmeal. Um, just some of the menu items for week one is a turkey sandwich with cottage cheese. And that's actually what I had for breakfast this morning. It's cottage cheese and pineapple and two eggs. It was not on the menu, but it was close to the menu. It's what I had in the house. Um, lunch, chicken, orange, and walnut salad. A feta and turkey burger, creamy chicken, mushroom, and tomato pasta, slow cooker rump roast, Chinese pork stir fry with pineapple, peach and salmon salad, which sounds really good. I haven't tried any of these menus yet, but I will be this week. And then the next menu section is your protein smoothies. You have, in the first week, we had three suggested smoothie recipes, and that actually has two, three. Five, six, seven, seven smoothie recipes in those two pages. And my favorite thing that I'm going to make today, and I'll do a separate video, are the protein bites. And this also has seven different recipes based on your taste. So I think the protein bites are really going to make a difference because you have two in the afternoon and then two in the evening before bed, which really curbs your hunger for snacking. The other thing I did a long time ago, I have been eliminating sugar since 2015. Um, 
That is the one addiction that I have had in my life. I come from a long line of family of addicts and sugar was mine. I had a, uh, I thought I wanted a Starbucks energy drink coffee last week. And I opened it up. I put it over ice. I was so excited. I took a drink of that. And it was absolutely disgusting to me. So sweet. It was terrible. I don't know if something went wrong in the processing. But I've also been drinking black coffee, not butter coffee. Check that out if you want an alternative to cream. Um, tea. And Ula has recently announced, which is like last week, announced the Rise and Rest Gummies, which are shaped like the Ula Bus. You can get those on my website. We have the Energy Shots that I will be ordering this month. Those were introduced at the last event. And they are just a daily shot. I have traditionally used the 5-Hour Energies when I was driving. Only when I was driving. And that just keeps the, the weariness off. But I know when I'm working at home, after I've worked for two or three hours, and I'm just, I am hammered down right now getting stuff in place. Uh, after two or three hours, my brain is just mush. Like I, I just can't do anything more. And what I, what I do, I would crochet because I do make blankets, um, crochet blankets for children. And that's a pleasure. And it also uses up the stash that I'm trying to purge out of my house and blesses other people with it. And I turn the TV on. And when I turn the TV on, I'm sunk. I am done. Um, that is one of the, one of those things that my discipline has not overcome yet. And I think, oh, I'm going to sit down. I'm just going to watch 20 minutes and watch one program. And that turns into five hours and now it's time for bed and didn't get done what I planned to do. So I'm, and then you get disappointed. And I'm disappointed in myself because I didn't have the discipline to get up and go to the table. Well, I think an Ula shot will help that. If I sit down with an Ula shot, do not turn the TV on, maybe get on YouTube and watch a video, a couple videos or something. Um, I think that's going to make a big difference in my future. We also have a number of programs that were just announced. I'm just gonna pull this up. I hope that music in the background doesn't violate any copyright law. I just have Pandora on and it's in the in the other room. Didn't think to turn it off before I turned the video on. That's not what I was looking at. We have Ula Palooza coming up in December, which is amazing. And I will be going. I went last year. I didn't go to other things, um, other events through the year. But this is something that I do not want to miss. We do have the free life balance assessment online on my website just go to the website scroll down free life assessment that gives you your um, evaluation of your ula wheel which is the seven key areas of life and that is fitness finance family field faith friends and fun and helps you to start establishing your 21 goals 21 goals are the 21 things if you don't do anything this year there's 21 things that I really want to get done. After the 21, you narrow it down to seven. These are your top seven goals for the year. So that as you're working on a daily basis, you, um, you set three goals today. What do I need to do today to meet one of those goals, one of those seven goals at the end of the year? And then your ULA one. What is that one thing that if I end the year now and I have not finished, I'm going to regret that will help you start taking through that. I am looking for a moment. Go to the Ula shop. Here's your lifestyle framework evaluation. 
Miracle Mindset program. If you want to start one thing that's going to change your life, this is a 21-day program. It's only $65. Jump on there. Do that. It will help you see where your weaknesses are, where your strengths are, and help you to really start believing in yourself. This is the Ula Body by Design. Um, if you become a member, it is a lower price. I think it's $147. But this is the one that I'm doing now that is fantastic. And I know everyone that I know that's tried it is having success. Um, one of the women that I know that's tried this has lost 100 pounds. And she is amazing. She's doing 5Ks. And she's running. She's having a blast. The Ula Green Get program is getting your finances in order. Um, they were... Lula guys were big fans of Dave Ramsey for a long time. Uh, their philosophy is a little bit different is with Dave, you put everything at debt, debt free, cash only, and just hammer down. And they recognized that when you do that, when you don't leave time for fun, when you don't leave time for savings, you may get to the end and be debt free. But what? Now you've got to start over you know, allowing yourself to have some fun, allowing yourself or, or disciplining yourself to start saving for your retirement, saving for your future. Those are both very important. I have always said with Dave's program that I disagreed because he says you don't invest in anything. But if your employer offers a 401k program and you are not taking that employer match, you are actually leaving money on the table. So even if you don't do anything with the 401k, you want to do the match make sure you're taking that money home because that's yours at the end of the day when you leave that employer and go to another employer. That's your investments. That's part of your salary. If your employer said, hey, I want to give you a 3% 3, 3 raise, but you need to put 6% aside in a savings account, would you say, oh, no, thank you. I've got enough money already. You certainly would not turn down a 3% raise. And that's what you're doing if you're not participating in that for in that 401k match. Um, these are the rest dummies. And those help at the end of the day for you to uh, get a good night's sleep. Now, ideally, you take them about 30 to 40 minutes before you go to sleep. Which is hit next. Um, before you go to sleep. And people that have used them are reporting amazing, amazing rest. In the morning, you've got the blueberry pineapple rise gummy, which helps get your brain a, give your brain a jump start. Um, I'm not sure if it will replace caffeine or enhance my morning routine. I've got my gummies on the way. Can't wait to, to get them. The Berry Bliss Shot, that's your little shot for midday. You can do, most people I think do two to three shots a day. Um, even one, if you're, you know, say after lunch, you're in a meeting, you may want to hit a shot right before you go in that meeting so that your brain is sharp and, and ready to go. And then we have the Oolapalooza. Your Ula Palooza tickets, and that will be December 1st and 2nd in Nashville, Tennessee. Again, it's a wonderful venue. Come on out and meet all of the Ula people that you will get to know. Uh, this is an amazing group. Um, leadership is top down, corporate culture is top down, and the Ula guys have sacrificed because they love their people and everyone involved with ULA loves their people. I, 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 I cannot tell you how wonderful and amazing the people that I have met through ULA have been. And on that note, I am going to call it a day and get my week in order. I'm gonna look at my next video, download my week, must be my week four. I'll download three and four if I need to get those printed in my notebook and I'm going to make some balls. So you have a great day. Love you.